zero to 100 real quick. I finally got my plaque from YouTube, the plaque that every YouTuber dreams of one day having. It's not as big of a moment that I thought it would be. When I first started my YouTube channel, I thought that 100,000 subscribers would be like this mind-blowing moment. And then the closer you get, the less epic it turns out to be. Gotta talk about my journey from zero to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Gonna show you guys some stats. Look at how much money I've generated from YouTube over the last three years. I'm gonna show you exactly how much money I've been paid by YouTube over the last three years, starting a YouTube channel, growing it from zero to 100, and just talking about the overall experience that I've had. And I don't know, we're gonna talk about the whole journey from zero subscribers to 100,000 subscribers. Let's, let's go. What's going on guys, Patrick here, and today the plaque came from YouTube, I opened it, I looked at it, and then I put it down. Not as special as I thought it would be. When you first start out as a YouTuber, wow, you know, it'd be so cool to one day have 100,000 subscribers. Like it would just be like this really cool, epic goal, right? The longer that you do it, the more and more that you grow, the closer you get to that point, that milestone is no longer as epic. I think Casey Neistat said it best, really. He said in a video, talked about how, you know, going from zero to a thousand subscribers is much more rewarding or it's much more difficult to go from zero to a thousand. Like that's like a big jump, you know, from zero people watching you to a thousand people watching you. And then from a thousand, you know, to 10,000, I feel like that's really like the big jump is I'm not having a video. When you first start out, you really have no idea if people are going to even watch your videos. You don't really even know if people are going to, you know, watch your videos, are they gonna comment? A thousand to 10,000, at that point, you're like, okay, I kinda know what works, I kinda know what people like, I kind of know what really sets people off, and you get a better idea of how to play the game. Now, in the past, I've definitely done some things that, I don't wanna say I regret doing those things, but some of the videos that I made, I've kind of learned over time that at the end of the day, people really just don't, I don't want to say negativity, but people just don't want to hear the truth. People want to be told that everything's roses and everything is happy, happy, happy. You know, I've went from zero to 100,000, so I consider that most of my subscribers, I consider my subscribers being smart. Most people that subscribe to me, they either hate me or they love me. I feel like a lot of the people who do subscribe to me, the reason that they subscribe to me is because they like the overall rawness. They like that there just might be a meltdown at any moment. There might be a meltdown. I, I speak my mind and some people don't like that. That's obvious. Some people don't like when people have opinions. You're not allowed to have an opinion anymore. You're not allowed to have a belief anymore. The best way to go through life is to basically just be vanilla. At the end of the day, how many stories or how many books are written about vanilla? Even though sometimes I have little, you know, little meltdowns. When you put yourself out there, when you have an opinion, when you have a belief, there's gonna be somebody who's gonna hate on it and that's just part of the game. I've learned that. Today I made a video talking about how I'm gonna get short in the market. You know, there's plenty of comments who are like, oh, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're gonna do this. You know, I've gotta do that. I've gotta say like, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. You know, because if I just had a video that my video was like, hey, you know, here's the market, it's cool, Maybe I'll go short, maybe I'll go long. Like, what is that? What value is that bringing to people? At the end of the day, every trade that I take, every risk, you know, every trade that I put on, everything that I do in life, I look at it like, hey, I'm gonna risk this much to get this much. I'm gonna do this so that I can get this. I'm not always gonna be successful, but when I look at my past record, in terms of business and life, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. The reward has paid off. I put a lot of risk, on myself when I was younger, I put a lot of risk, self-employed content creator type person. You know, when I first started filming, everyone told me I couldn't do it. When I first started the YouTube channel, everyone told me that I couldn't do it, but now I'm doing it. People have changed their opinion. Now that I've got to this point, plenty of people who didn't believe me before are like, wow, you know, that's, that's amazing, that's so cool. The thing is, is if I would have given up at the beginning, if I never did it, if I didn't put myself out there, if I didn't take the chance, well, I wouldn't be here today. And as you'll see in the video, not that I'm making millions of dollars, but there's definitely a decent amount of revenue coming in from YouTube, from other things, you know, affiliations and things like that. 
I've created a nice little niche for myself, a nice little income. I can go fishing. I can basically do whatever I want. I can pursue other, you know, career paths and still have YouTube revenue coming in, still have, you know, revenue coming in from multiple sources. That's always been like my goal, my focus, getting to the point where I don't have to worry about where the money's gonna come from. I don't have to worry about, you know, paying my rent or being able to afford to go fishing every day if I want to. I'm at that point now where I took the risk when I was younger, you know, when I was 20 to 25 years old, I put everything that I had into filming, everything that I had into getting to this point. And when I was 25, I wasn't like, oh, I wanna be a YouTuber. I had the skill, I had the motivation, I had the goals of getting to a point where I had multiple income sources, multiple opportunities, and we're here today because of that. Let's jump on the computer, we'll take a look at the analytics, the numbers, and what it's all about, and then after that, we'll talk more about some things that I've done along the way to kind of get to where I am today and how it worked out. At the end of the day, everything that I've done was all a part of the bigger plan of getting to where I am now and becoming self-sufficient in a sense that I can do whatever I want every single day. That's all it comes down to. It's never about how much money I can make. It was really just always about getting to a point where I'm self-sufficient. I have money coming in. I can do what I want every single day. I have no boss. I have nobody telling me what I can and can't do. And that's freedom, baby. That's the ultimate freedom. I don't care what you do, how much money you make, but if you can get to the point where you can live and survive and pay all your bills and eat and drink and have fun, and not have anyone telling you what you can and can't do? Well, you're living the dream. So let's take a look at the analytics here, the numbers. I know everybody wants to know how much money I make here on YouTube. Let's let's look. All right, so now we're gonna dive into my analytics for my account now that I've surpassed 100,000, 100,000 subscribers. Let's look at just kind of overall what we've been doing the last 28 days. And you can see in the last 28 days, gained 4.2 thousand subscribers which is actually really impressive because that's 1.6 thousand more than usual uh, other day someone accused me that i stopped growing as soon as i hit 100 thousand subscribers but i don't know what they were smoking you can see on average here gaining probably about 100 to 200 subscribers a day so my estimated revenue for lifetime over the last what is it three years you can see i've gained over 104 thousand subscribers almost oh we got 10 million 10 million views Congratulations, I didn't even know I did that. Definitely 2019, the middle of 2019, the end of 2019 wasn't super active posting videos and we can obviously see that reflected in my analytics here. So where does most of my traffic come from? Most of my traffic is coming from the browse feature when people are browsing on YouTube. 24% uh, is coming from suggested videos. I guess that's kind of like on the side when people are watching. Also, 18% from the YouTube search and 7% uh, from channel pages. You got over 805,000 watch time hours. That's a lot of hours. My average view duration is 4 minutes and 48 seconds. And you can see pretty average for the channel, kind of spiking, uh, what did it say? You know, some nice little spikes when some of the longer term videos come out. One thing to remember with YouTube is that YouTube is going to reward you for having more watch time. The average view, the more watch time, they love the idea of people watching videos that they end up staying on the platform longer. So the longer that people stay on the platform, the longer that people watch your videos, the more YouTube rewards you. They wanna see creators, they wanna see people that have channels that create content that keep people watching. Four minutes and 48 seconds, my average video is around eight to 10 minutes. So that's not bad when you look at the overall kind of idea, you know, we're kind of getting close to 50% average view duration, which in this day and time, a lot of people have ADD. Some of the big spikes in subscribers, a lot of those big spikes in subscribers came from when I was doing the stuff uh, some of my more popular videos with Steven Kalasian and those kind of videos, you kind of get these little spikes and then dips, little spikes and then little dips, big spikes, little dips, little spikes. And, and then obviously you lose subscribers as you go as well. So you can see the last 28 days, I've lost 1,172 subscribers. So pretty big spikes actually. So pretty much whenever I post a video that people don't like, maybe it's a little controversial, maybe uh, they don't agree with it. A lot of times people end up unsubscribing or yeah, people don't like it. But you can see the goal here is obviously we wanna gain more than we're losing and that's pretty much, that's happening. We're gaining more than we're losing. I'm losing more subscribers than most people are gaining, which is kind of just how it goes, right? You can see uh, right there on 328, almost 300 subscribers a day. So 
interesting to see kind of the spikes and the losses. Uh, this is I haven't actually looked at this in a long time. All right, so I've lost 30,000, 30,000 subscribers since I started the YouTube channel. All right, so if you look here at my top viewed video that has 914,000 views, $8,431, and you can see overall just kind of the increase. And what's interesting here is you can see we kind of plateaued for a little bit. Not, not that we plateaued, but we kind of just slowly went higher. So really kind of recently ramp up here in what, like February. So big ramp there, a big ramp in views as well. All of a sudden, look at this, just pretty much like in March, we start ramping up quicker and quicker. And uh, we should probably hit a million views pretty soon. I, I'd say we probably hit a million views. And I've gained close to 9.5 thousand subscribers just from this video. So that shows you really when you have a viral video, when you have a video that gets a lot of views and a lot of people are clicking it, a lot of people are watching it, you know, you one view more subscribers, something like that. So you can see overall that that was my top video. All right, so another top video. Uh, this one has 263,000 views. This is going over, it's called the real day trade, the real truth day trading. And this has made me $6,000 subscribers, got 5.7 thousand subscribers from this video. Interesting to see kind of where the subscriber growth is, where the overall revenue is on these videos. This video has made me $6,000 where the other video we just talked about, that made what, 8,000. So really not, not a lot of views on this video compared to the other video. The other video has 900,000 views. This video has 263,000, but the average view, I guess, is a little bit longer. More people are watching it. There's more ads getting served on it. So the revenue is higher on this video, which is, like I said, interesting to see how this video has, you know, 25% of the views of the other video we just looked at. And it has, you know, almost what, 75, what, 75% of that revenue. So in comparison, if this video had a million views, this video we're looking at right now, you would think that we'd be at like 12 to 15, maybe $20,000 in revenue from this video alone. So, all right, so looking at the demographic in terms of gender, age, top countries, all that kind of fun stuff, I guess unsurprisingly, 95% of my viewers are male. So I guess the chances of me having a female fan base is pretty slim. Although there's 5%. So 5% of 100,000 is what? Like 500. I actually get more watch time from people who are not subscribed. If you look at this as well, subscriber bell notifications. Subscribers who have all notifications turned on, only 14%. Only 14%. We're looking at uh, my demographic being between 25 and 34 years old. 25 and 34 years old, stay-at-home guys that live in their mom's basement still. I love you guys. I love all you guys. I, I I kid. I kid. I know you guys are all future millionaires out there. But we've got a 25 and 34 being our biggest demographic, 18 to 24. My playback-based CPM, $22.53. So that's basically $22 per every 1,000 views. Not It doesn't really work out just like that because obviously you can see my revenue doesn't really – the math doesn't add up like that. But – in general, it's interesting to see. And again, you can see my top earning videos there, the real day trading truth, the beginner day trading mistakes. The revenue kind of drops off pretty quickly. This video has $8,000 in revenue. This video has 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 3,000. So it's not like, you know, all my videos are making this much money. It's really slim pickings when it comes to kind of what videos make money, what videos don't make money. Sometimes I'll make a video and it, just makes, it makes no money. It's really interesting to kind of see how that goes and how that works out. And uh, really the overall here, we're making higher highs for the last six months here with uh, the revenue kind of just pushing up here slowly, getting above uh, $4,000 again there in March. So I definitely been slacking a little bit and I'm coming back. I'm coming back strong. Let's go over 100,000 right there, right now. Let's go. Let's make a million dollars here. Because if you look at YouTube, there's a lot of channels. There's a lot of people out there who make videos, especially now when I first started. There was not a lot of day trading specific channels, but it seems like 2020, 2019, the whole entire world is just on YouTube trying to figure out how to get rich or figure out how to become better in life. And there's so much self-help. Like everybody just wants to figure out like, you know, what can I do to become richer? How can I become more successful? I still feel like I am in a different kind of world because what I do, but I guess I'm right there with all the rest of them. It's interesting to see what channels blow up, 
what channels don't blow up, what channels don't go anywhere. It's even more interesting to see the haters, the people that you know hate on me or whatever. They hate me because they ain't me. Everybody out there that talks crap or, you know, oh, Petter does this, Petter does this. At the end of the day, they want to be where I'm at. If you have a YouTube channel, I don't care what you say. If you have a YouTube channel, you want to be doing what I'm doing. You want to have 100,000 subscribers. You want to be making this much money. You want to be exactly where I am today. And that's not bragging about me, but I've played the game. I played the YouTube game exactly how I played it since day one because I knew this is what would get me to this point. I knew that if I was monotone, if I had no opinion, if I was just vanilla, if I had just nothing to really stand out, I would never get to this point. And that's what a lot of people end up doing. They start a YouTube channel and they try to be everyone's friend. They try to be super nice or they try to seem that they're kind of, uh, they got something going on, but they don't really. You just gotta have an opinion. Everyone can do something. Everyone can be good at something. Whatever it is, you gotta figure that out. For me, I can talk. I can be opinionated. I can get people all riled up. Some of my most viewed videos come from me basically, I don't wanna say trolling people, but I definitely have made videos over the years. I've made videos knowing exactly those videos would do. I knew that they would get a lot of views, they would get a lot of hate, they get a lot of people talking. All of those things, as much as people hated those videos, there was more people subscribing, more people following along because of those videos. I didn't start day trading because I just wanted to become smarter. I started day trading because I wanted to make more money. I wanted to, yeah, I mean, get rich. Who does not want to get rich? And I enjoy trading. I really do. I do enjoy trading. I like deep down, I love this kind of overall world that we're in. It's like this tight knit community. There's definitely a lot of people that I've met along the way that I kind of talk to every day about what's going on in the market. You know, my trading friends, I've gotten to see amazing things. I went to the New York Stock Exchange because of YouTube. You know, I got to do some really kind of cool things because of what I've been doing here on YouTube. And I've, again, I've met some really cool people along the way. So, so if you just start doing the YouTube because you wanna make tons of money, you probably won't be successful because the first year or so, you're not gonna make any money. You're not gonna get a lot of viewers, you're not gonna get a lot of comments, you're not gonna get a lot of love, so you're not gonna have a lot of motivation. But you have to have that personal motivation to like get to that next level. That's just the key here. You just gotta keep believing no matter what you're doing, if you're doing YouTube, if you're starting a business, whatever, you're small, you got a small business, you're not really getting a lot of business, you know, you're kind of slow, you gotta figure out, you know, what you can do to stand out, and I feel like I've done a pretty good job of standing out. Never give up, never surrender, only quitters quit. There it is, if you guys haven't already, I don't really know if anyone's even still watching, but if you guys haven't already, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below.